Welcome to the video. In this video, I want to quickly mention that there has been a change in the Turnigy i6S radio. Now, we looked at this radio a couple of months ago, and the i6S is available from lots of different vendors. And lots of people were buying different vendors' versions of the i6S because this radio was missing the update. Now, there was an update to this firmware came out a couple of months ago now and added some really great features. We did a video on it, and we showed an update on on one of the other radios. The cool thing is it's now available for the Turnigy i6S2. It will default the welcome screen to Fly Sky, but all of the features that have been available on some of the other manufacturers' versions of the i6S are now available on the Turnigy. But I just want to show you in this video where you get the file from, and then I'll link you to the video that actually shows the update procedure, because it's exactly the same. Now I need to shout out to a couple of subscribers who let me know that this file had appeared and uh, I'm particularly going to mention Andrea. Andrea was the first person that kind of pinged me about it to say that it was available. So I immediately went on the Hobby King website, found the radio here in the International Warehouse, scrolled down to the bottom, jumped onto the Files tab and it wasn't there. So I thought, okay, maybe I'm looking at the wrong version. Maybe it's, um, it's, it's on, the, on the black version, not the white one. So I went up to the black version, scrolled all the way down, hit the files tab, there was no files tab at all. So there's actually an awful lot of radios listed, the i6s's on Hobby King, in different locations, uh, different configurations. So I need to say a very big thank you to Andrea because he actually let me know that this is the link that you need to go to. So what I'm going to do, and I'm sure Hobby King will be updating all the links of this radio in the coming weeks so you can get this from every single one of them, but I'll put this link in the description. So what you need to do is you need to find the Turnigy i6s and I think a lot of the reason that it's only been getting three out of five stars is because this firmware update hasn't been available. If you go to the bottom, click on the files tab, then the manual is in here and also the firmware too. If you click on the firmware, then it'll ask you to save as and you can stick it on your desktop. The update procedure itself is pretty straightforward. So what I'll do is I'll link you to this video that I'm showing here now. It steps you through each of the individual pieces. All you need to do is connect the radio via a USB cable. It will appear on the PC. You just select it and click update and it's pretty automatic. The only thing I would recommend is do double check and make sure that you've made a note of all your model settings before you do it in case the update does something bad. Um, in our experience here, the updates on the other radios that we've done hasn't blown away our model configurations, but it's always a good thing to just double check that uh, something hasn't gone wrong and the first time you try and fly the model after the update, there's a problem. So thank you again to those subscribers who let me know that this was available. I'll put this link in the description so you can go and update your Turnigy i6S radio. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.